what is up there everybody and welcome back to the channel guys now in today's video guys i'm gonna be showing you guys how to bleed brakes on my 1993 honda civic deal so now this is the non abs brake so i'm gonna be doing uh slightly differently how to bleed brakes on my deal so there's a different way to do it usually when you bleed brakes you go from farthest out from where the brake master cylinder is at so if you guys see here there's the brake master cylinder which is on the driver's side so what you usually do is from passenger rear to driver rear and then passenger front to driver front that's how you bleed brakes but on this case guys you start off from it's going to be a crisscross pattern so you're going to start off from passenger rear to driver front and then from driver front to driver rear driver rear to passenger front. I'm pretty sure that was the way it said on the paper. Hold on, let me go get the paper so you guys can see it. So here's the paper that I printed out. So on the paperwork it says here, this is the front of the car, this is the rear of the car. Ah! So you start off bleeding the brakes from passenger rear to driver front, driver front to driver rear, and then driver rear to passenger front. That's how I'm gonna be bleeding my brakes. It's gonna be a crisscross pattern. So yeah, and then on here it says that you can either use a dot three or dot four brake fluid. But on today's video, guys, I'm gonna be using a dot three brake fluid. Also, guys, I got this fluid evacuator. This is the Mighty Vac model number MV7400 fluid evacuator. I definitely recommend getting one of these. But guys, on today's video, guys, my Dale Soul is the non-ABS, so I have to manually bleed the brake. So I'm gonna have another person bleeding, my, stepping on the brake, which is gonna be my grandmother. She's gonna be helping me out, pumping the brakes. So on the Dale Soul, guys, you have to manually flush the brake fluid, which is pretty pain in the ass, but it is what it is, so. But if you're single and if you do live by yourself, I highly recommend getting one of these. These are super useful. They sell these online or I think they have it at Harbor Freight now. Last time I checked, they have one of these. So I'm pretty sure they have it at Harbor Freight now too. So yeah, go check it out if you're very interested and curious in it. I will try to leave the website again in the link in the description below. So I'll try my best if I can find it again. So, all right guys, my car is jacked up. The wheels are off as you guys can see. So let's start bleeding the brakes out. So let's start from the passenger rear. Now I forgot to mention one more thing. On the rear drum brake guys, the bleeder valve is gonna be an eight mil, so use an eight mil wrench, and then the front caliper, the bleeder valve is gonna be a 10 mil, so use a 10 mil wrench. So yeah, that's one more thing I wanted to add. So let's start the video. All right, I got the line connected to the nipple. So I just loosen up the nipple and my grandma's gonna be inside of my vehicle. And then pumping the brakes, I'm gonna be saying down, up, down, up, so that way I can open the open the uh, bleeder valve, close it, open the bleeder valve, close it, repeat. So I'm gonna be repeating that over and over and over until the brake fluid looks clean, so. Down. Up. All right guys, so I'm gonna be bleeding the brakes in the front, guys. So I just did the passenger rear, now I'm gonna be doing the driver front, using a 10 mil wrench to open up the bleeder valve. So here we go, lifty loosey, righty tighty. All right, Grandma, if you could step on the brake, down. Down and hold it? Yep. Okay. Down. Down. Up. Up. Down. Down. Up. All right, guys, now I just did the driver front, so now I'm moving back to passenger rear. I mean, no, driver rear, my bad, guys. Driver rear. So, lefty Lucy again. I'm gonna pop this open. Let me see. All right, Grandma, ready to go, down. Damn. Up. Up. All right guys, last but not least guys, the passenger front brake caliper, I'm gonna be start bleeding it. Now, I'm just putting the Mighty Vac tube on it because I don't want any air bubbles going in inside of my calipers or any in, inside of the brake lines. So that's why I am putting the tube over it, which you should do it too, so there's no air bubble that's going in. So yeah, anyways guys, I'm gonna loosen up this so my grandma can pump it. Let's see, down. All right, you guys can see the dirty brake fluid. Up, down. Up. 
All right guys, so I forgot to show you guys one thing when I was bleeding my brakes. So as you guys can see, the brake fluid level on the reservoir tank right now is all the way to the minimum, is that what it says? M-I-N, so minimum. So yeah, on the low mark, so now you want to fill the brake fluid up but while you guys bleed in brakes i want you guys to really really keep eye on that so that way you know if you i don't want you guys to run out on the brake fluid so i want you guys to keep filling up the brake fluid that way when you guys are really bleeding the brakes so now i'm gonna fill up the brake fluid with obviously dot three that's what i've been doing so yeah let's add that bad boy up to all the way up to the maximum maximum level line because since we're done just add up just like that all right guys so now after you have done that all the way up to the maximum level line now you're gonna put the cap back over and close that good i should be closed I don't, hold on give me one second here cap is back on guys so yeah that will pretty much conclude today's video guys i hope this video was helpful guys if you guys enjoyed today's video please give me a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and also please 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 hit that bell notification button because that will really help my channel grow so please hit the bell notification as well but other than that, guys that'll do it for today's video uh, one of my next video guys that i'm gonna be doing is i am also gonna be bleeding brakes on my r6 type s my baby jade the reason why is that some of you guys know that I'm going to be getting a big brake kit on the RSX. So that's why before I install the big brake kits, I want to bleed the brakes. So that way, after I install the big brake kit, it have the fresh brake fluid through. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. So And it's going to be slightly different. It's not the crisscross pattern that I did like to the Del Sol. So if you guys are curious, just stay tuned on that, how I'm going to be doing brake fluid flush on my RSX. So yeah, and also there's definitely more moped builds coming um my buddy raj some of you guys know my buddy raj he's coming back on march 12th from california so once he comes back i am gonna be installing a big board kit yay finally guys oh my god and so i'm gonna be upgrading it from 50 cc to 80 cc which is kind of illegal but send a nation ayo so yeah but other right, guys if you're really curious what i'm gonna be doing to my channel guys Stay tuned, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. So, other right, guys, peace out and stay thirsty, my friends.